Yeah. That sound a little rusty, y'all. I was uh, I had a little cold. Jackson City Council voted. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so you don't got that that that, that, that sweet southern sultry voice. Nah, going on I had a there. cold. Like, I was sick. Yeah. Salute to um Deluxe Two Four Seven, aka Cal Ripken, aka the real MVP, coming through once again, man. Clap it up for Deluxe Two Four Seven. The Jackson City Council voted to spend three hundred thousand dollars to clean up litter. That vote unanimous. The city will pay a company to pick up trash along and around major streets in the city. It doesn't include interstates. Many residents in Jackson. <laughs> so, I mean, they got a jail full of prisoners. Jesus Christ! Man. And they paying three hundred thousand dollars to pick yeah, up trash. Can't trash. use yeah, them yeah, no they, more. That's like slavery now. Yeah, and, and if they try to escape, you gotta kill them. And then if you do that, then everyone gets pissed off. By the Constitution, that's legal slavery. No, I, I agree. No, with not that. anymore. Yes, I it is. I agree it should be done. But they, they need, no, they I thought rest. they abolish it. Nah, that was just Kanye tweeted about it and shit like that. And niggas talked about it. No, they had a vote. Then they voted against slavery to end slavery. Like no. within prisons. I gotta look that up. Somebody look that up. Georgia Swan is up here, man. Prisoners He's... are not citizens. They're jo prisoners. So somebody look it up. I don't feel like doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't. Hold on, Georgia. Let, let me let you get Georgia. Hey guys. Georgia, what's up? <laughs> what's going on? What do you what do you have to do? You, you said you you said you ride with brown brown mammy on this man. Go tell yeah. her. Nice. Yeah, sound about stop. <laughs> yeah, I definitely don't think she's being a mammy on this. Um, with the welfare thing, it's not great the way it is, but it would just be so much worse um, if you if you cut it off. You would really be like Brazil overnight, where there's no social safety net. Um, We're Brazil now in the cities. We're not Brazil in the cities. We really are not. We're not even like a Caribbean country. So if you just cut off all welfare, it would be a disaster. And um, food stamps. You don't, you don't think that you don't think that the people would be pushed to where they either have to sink or swim? No, because they will just sink. Yeah, they, they cannot swim. swim. They if somebody's going to sink, they deserve to sink. Yeah, but, but they're going to take you down with yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling y'all, they're, they're not gonna go down alone. I'm telling y'all, if they cut food stamps, I'm telling y'all, they they're taking rob, the country down they, now. They're gonna yeah, rob we're, you. We're through, going down they're gonna have a crab boy. They're gonna have so a crab boy. And guess if what? You, they're gonna rob you, wanted, you to get them crab legs. Yeah, if, if you want to correct the problem, that's where like you have abortion or getting like implanted birth control paying people to sterilize them. We can't force people to do those things anymore. We used Ma, to see, force sterilization on people. We cannot do that. It's not going to be, I, it's not practical. It's never going to happen again. I, I got to go at Marcy again, man. Marcy, Marcy says, oh, yeah, if they, if they come at me, look at shit. Marcy, yeah. do you understand how serious it is when fucking, if they, if they take welfare, if they if they take welfare away and section eight and all this stuff, you're gonna be around sun men. I don't think you that you've never been around before, man. You ain't I just gonna be shooting now. them. I you're have not just gonna dad, be shooting. My dad was one of them. Right, but what I'm saying, your dad you're was not the your new, op. The new no, son no, man. but he was your dad, not your op. Yeah, he was. He was not being an op to you. He was being your dad. I'm talking about Marcy. You j just shooting them is not the answer every time. I don't want to. I, I hate for it. I hate well, for neither. Neither is continuing to feed the problem. Yeah, I, I think you could. Just, I think you could make a compromise and revise it. You don't get a home. You get a you get a room in a barracks, and you get a mess hall where you get fed stuff. You don't get to go to the store and buy crap. You get to go eat whatever's in the mess hall. So when, when they had homes, Turn food when their stamps homes into actual food items, healthy food when items. When their homes were concentrated in one place, you had the problem contained. What happened was that they're spreading everywhere. That's why you're seeing the problem all over the place. So in Chicago, when they were all in those towers, 
but that's by design was in those places when that was torn down and people were just given the section eight that's how it spread they're gonna be somewhere that's if by you, design if you cut off but that's but that's just what's happening they're not gonna disappear overnight and it was a you're good not gonna design. have a genocide you're not gonna you just have to be practical sometimes you have to make choices you don't like to avoid an even worse outcome hey, uh, I look at it the same way. Whenever there's a bad, whenever there's a, a, a disastrous storm, and they, you know, the the Dollar General or you know the Walgreens, they get looted. That that's what I'm talking about. If because not, not everybody's not everybody's going to fall back into do into doing things like that. But for those who do, even if there's a large number of them, they have they have to be dealt with in a brutal fashion. I'd hate, I hate I don't like that. I don't like that reality. But that's what it is. No, but what the I'm people saying... who have power won't do that now. Yeah, and you won't do that, Marcy. You not, yeah. you not shooting a bunch of little fucking sun teams from Southeast DC, man. Your ass is gonna get fucking ambushed and fucking like you will get murdered, man. They do that for a living. They've killed people. You ain't killed nobody. Like you dealing, like you dealing with dudes that kill people for on the regular, not. Not just like that's what you, I think that's what the, the blind spot and you're talking like every time your solution is to shoot them, like you ain't you ain't ki- you ain't no killer. These dudes are killers. And it's a war. Like if you shoot one of them, they gonna come back and they'll shoot yeah. your house up. Well, how did and, we get to this? But how do we get to this point? We got to this point because because it, because it wasn't because it wasn't dealt with the way it's supposed to be dealt with a long time ago. No, but I'm just speaking about the reality. I'm not like trying to go back in the weeds again. I'm just talking about the reality. No, I, I know. Yeah, it's a I'm, war. It's a war in the black community, and it's 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 always gonna keep going on and on and on. It's never so let's stop. so let's put them back in the buildings and contain it. But we can't do that right now. We don't have the power to do that. The people yeah, who do. want to do that, we don't have the power. People are not gonna vote for that now. People are already, they're upset about the Derek Chauvin. They're, they're not going to want to put black people in jail. They're still confused, brainwashed, whatever. It's and the cities will fail. Right now. The cities will necessarily fail. And even more black people will die because of it. And the brainwashed and people this... will blame other things. I mean, Hold you still on, have ma- people ma- getting vaccinated. I mean, ma- they, they don't care. Mayo, do you want the city to die like drop dead like 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 one of these players that got the covid vax or you want the city to die of like diabetes or old age or something like that they're dying of diabetes right now right but you 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 what you're talking about is going to make them drop dead like, no, right? no. and, and uh, uh, what what nobody's right. saying we're not talking about instantly ending food stamps like just right. cutting them off good. today good good Thank God. It, it, it's got to be phased. You're talking about weaning them, weaning them off. Yes, of yes. Yeah. Nobody's talking about just ending it today and fuck them, let them starve. Okay, okay. Yeah. You know, okay. start by taking their food stamp money and deducting the three meals a day these kids are getting at school. Okay, wait a minute. And hey, reward them, nah. reward them wait, for being for working. Wait a minute. You want to stop feeding children? No, oh, they're already being fed. Okay, you want to stop feeding Do you know what SNAP stands stand? for? Do you know what SNAP stands I'm not for? Stupid. I know what the fuck SNAP stands for. Okay, what's it? What does supplemental mean? Well, so it's, you, it's food. You buying some food, but my thing is, but it's, it's to supposed to be a supplement okay, to the family's right. income. It's not supposed to be their food budget. But it you is. They accustomed to something, and they won't want it taken away. So you have to just eliminate the demand. You have to right. focus on getting them abortion, sterilization, fewer kids, stuff like that. If you if you take away the food stamps, even now with inflation, people so are getting mad. I'm, I'm not even abortion. saying take away the food stamps. Let's do it like WIC. I, Where? Hope, I hope none of y'all ever lose y'all job. I hope none of y'all never get so sick y'all can't work no more. And, I and hope, they're done that. And I hope none Thank of y'all children, none of y'all children and grandchildren, don't fall into the science situation. Y'all, yeah, but it, it's supposed to be a crutch, not a fucking wheelchair to ride through life for generations. 
some people just get them. I don't see no wrong people getting food stamps. It's the people that's committing the crime. Y'all need to focus on the criminals. What? I this guarantee the the guy that killed that woman in Detroit. I guarantee he slept on a in a Section Eight fucking house that night in some single fucking mom's apartment, laying up on some bitch's couch all day, Good eating point. her fucking food stamp food. Yeah, let me let me okay. let me, read, let me let guaranteed. Me, let me let me just read these um these super chats right quick. Commander Nice Guy says, "What would Trump say about this son violence? There's a lot of bad babies out there." They are not sending us their best. Um, then he says, "Snap equals sons never admit problems." <laughs> 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 oh shit, man! Um, yeah. Her feelings tell me to go to hell. Uh, oh my god! Your grandma yeah. in hell burning right now, bitch. <laughs> Damn! Come on, brown sugar. Right. You know that you know, Let's that. move along. Let's move along. Man. No, nah, because I'm getting irritated. <laughs> it's okay, man. Let me move along. Y'all want to cut food to them side like the people buying crab legs and steak is going around shooting at the yes, white people. The <laughs> they just want to eat. The problem is they shouldn't be able to get no damn uh, crab legs and shit. Yeah, I hate that. I hate on. Why, why, why do people care? So Cause, much because because I can't because of crab legs. Cause y'all are getting it. It's our fucking money. <laughs> exactly <laughs> why we ain't eating fucking steak. <laughs> we ain't eating crab legs. I, I think uh, you I keep think brown sugar. sugar you keep damn. saying okay to some really dumb shit, and it's not okay. I say okay anyway because this is how we talk. Okay. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I've got good ranchers. I get steak delivered to me so I can just cook it all the time. From Omaha. Okay, you fancy. Let me um let, let good me... ranchers. Yeah, you, you me... fancy, you paying for your own food. He's a com Johnny, yeah, Johnny sound... a in a hood that say y'all jealous. Let me let me move along, man. Let's let's see what's going on in Jackson. Jackson City so Council can, voted so we can get the, to these other cities where the Jackson City Council voted to spend $300,000 to clean up litter. That vote unanimous. The city will pay a company to pick up trash along and around major streets in the city. It doesn't include interstates. Many residents in Jackson have been wondering why it's taken so long to clean up the city. Have you looked at our city? <laughs> That's not a why. It's, have you really looked at us? I'm 65 years old. I've been here just that long. This has changed totally. Between illegal dumping on streets and litter all over the place, you know, especially after you cut a right away, you can see the amount of paper and debris that has been stacked up and thrown on the side of the road. Uh, it's a big problem. Councilman Banks worries that. Wow. I mean, I, it's this to me, I always think litter is, is the telltale sign that you got too many sons. Like, I t always tell y'all about the apartment building I lived in. It was working class blacks and, 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 and gliders. And um, the one I lived in, when I was talking about last week, right around the corner from the Spice Lady um, store. And um, once, uh, once they made that law in D.C. where you had to make a certain amount of units in every building, market rate rent. So basically, you know, like people in there, you could pay $1,000 for a two-bedroom where everybody else is paying... 25 for one bedroom and um these people started coming to that building the first thing you noticed before besides the smell of weed the over overpowering smell of weed everywhere and the loudness was trash they just bring fucking trash and i think that that's a sun thing because we do not we would not make all these products like we wouldn't have a bag of chips there would be nothing that wasn't natural, nothing that didn't grow out of the earth or just wasn't there. We wouldn't, um, what do you call it, um, produce anything like a bag or a styrofoam cup or a fucking tire. We wouldn't make nothing like that. Manufacturers. And even if you go to the African villages where they don't have that stuff, the natural stuff is just thrown on the streets too. So it biodegrades, but yeah, it's it biodegrades. It biodegrades, exactly. That's a great point. It biodegrades. So we don't understand the 
Like we just we were dealing with stuff we would our brains can't really compute. The trash problem will just come back if littering and illegal dumping laws aren't enforced after the cleanup. It's just gonna be the same shit. Jaffrica, man. Fucking Jaffrica, man. Jaffrica's never gonna fucking change, man. Um, let's see what else is going on. Jesus Christ. Happened on Cedarhurst Road that's in Northeast Jackson. About 50 customers are affected. One man who had no water in his home says he already has a backup plan in place for days like this. Another water main break disrupting service for dozens of people in North Jackson. A five-member crew spent Wednesday on Cedarhurst Road working to replace a 10-inch line that burst overnight. The broken pipe left 50 customers under a boil water notice. Galen still says he has no water to boil. Well, when I woke up, it was off. Then later on, we got a text from the water com um, company saying that it should be back on soon, but it hasn't came back on yet. Still says now look at this fucking hole. That's that's not cheap to dig that fucking hole, man. It's very expensive to dig that hole, and this city doesn't have a tax base because it's Jaffrica is eighty four percent sun. They don't have the tax dollars to be keep digging holes like this. And these holes like this need to be dug every other day because this shit happens every other fucking day down there. Water. Hey, uh, product Cons Cook County's in the back, man. Yeah, I'm trying to get him up. I got to bring somebody off. I got to oh, I gotta drop somebody to get him up. Okay, he's good now. What's going on, man? What's up, product? What's up, bro? What's up? What's up, Cook County? Uh, I'm. I was just. I, gotta, I, was, I was just chilling in back chat. I was just like talking to him in there because I think you assess on the mossy, uh, pertaining to just like him like shooting at some summon or whatever. Yeah. For what? For whatever reason, whether it's like they're trying to kill you, whatever. I was like, man, I don't think I'd have that issue. Not not me. Not me at least. What do you mean having to shoot them? No, if I if I had to. I don't think I'd have that issue. Oh, yeah, you would. But all I'm saying no, is like, no. all I'm saying is that like, it's not that easy. It's not flip it. Like you lot of fucking murder a fucking savage. I don't yeah. see the problem. No, I'm not saying it's a problem. I'm telling you got to do it. Yeah. It's like, I, it's like yeah. me saying, you know what? It's like me saying, yeah, I'm going to fuck Kim Kardashian now that she's single. I actually I, have to go I, fucking do that. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I had to ask myself that question before I before I even picked up a gun. So I, I mean, so it's already made up in my mind that if, if if it came down to it, then that's what it is. Question. Okay. Yeah, like I'm saying, if it came, if it's coming down to it, I'm gonna have to do it, bro. And like, I'm not trying to sound like no badass or nothing like this. I was just texting them and chat about this, bro. Look, I've had a gun pointed in my face twice, just two years ago while door dashing. Who did it? Who did that it? Gun point. Who you did? Think? <laughs> then the set the the third time I had one was when I got robbed down at Hyde Park, which that shit that shit was not cool at all. I I, I was telling him like I mean I felt like a bitch, bro. You know I, I mean I knew where I was at. I was making money the whole night and everything, but you know I got robbed. You know I I, I thankfully I, I don't know I just didn't really give a fuck. I texted DoorDash about it. You know they had me complete the order. It gave me an extra hundred for doing it still, but. Fucking um nah, I mean yeah. When I got robbed, I went inside the uh, the security actually to uh, the apartment building I was delivering to. Didn't do shit about it. Wow. Just tell me, oh, we'll check the cameras. I'm saying like that shit makes me feel like a bitch. And to and be you honest, don't like that feeling. If no, I no. I don't. And, and that you know I'm gonna tell you this. I look. I'm I'm a I'm a proud Eagle Scout. All right. Mm -hmm. You know I do have some principles I live by and everything. I do thank my parents and especially my mother and my dad a lot for a lot of things because I, I, my everyone does say I'm a dad's son and my dad did have, you know, a lot of uh, uh, not not against people he loved, but he was slightly a loose screw. I think, I, you know, I think, you know, my family and like the stuff they put me in and everything, because I think sometimes I would have ended up the same way, you know. If if it was uh if it wasn't for people that gave a shit about me 
or just like the threat of going to jail, honestly, I I, I hope I find that motherfucker sometimes. Cause I'll do it. <laughs> I, I'll make it right on it. I'll do it. Like you I didn't have a I was eight, I was 18, bro, when I got robbed. I honestly, if I was able to see him again, bro, I'll shit. I'm I'm not gonna get too graphic. Look, I don't want anyone to think of me a certain <laughs> way, but just know I'll do it. I don't care. I'll do it. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I believe you. I, yeah, I, I, no. I believe you. You you want to you want to see the inner own burrito come out? It's right there. <laughs> I'm doing the most cruelest way too. I got a food stamp question. Go ahead. Um, to the person that said they get their food, uh they steaks ordered. Who was that? Johnny. Johnny. Um, if somebody uh was able to order those same steaks off their EBT card and give it to you, will you accept it? I ordered my own steaks. Okay, but if somebody paid. if somebody was able to order those same steaks off their EBT card and give you the steaks, would you accept the steaks? Don't lie, Johnny. I, I don't know why anybody would do that. They did send me uh, a, a see extra see order. see they did y'all send me an extra y'all ain't that food stamps. You okay? All right. I got, I, I could put it like this. He could take it because he paid for it. At least um, he'd be getting something out of it. Yes. That made well, sense. Well, well, in December, <laughs> December they sent me a double order, so I would have accepted it if I had been home to, to to get it. But I wasn't home, so it had sat out for a while. So I didn't uh, I didn't get to keep that because it was sitting out in a actually well, actually Nate. brown sugar that is the most fair thing the person with the ebt card could do <laughs> salute to um doug chunks man doug chunks says the problem is welfare programs are now making people very comfortable comfortable people aren't motivated to improve their situation we should help people but not create a lethargic lifestyle yeah i mean that's pretty much the crux of the issue but um I just I just don't see a way out of it, man. Because you're gonna have sun teens sun teens starving. I mean, well, they're now them, they're good. Make them if they want to uh, have the uh, the food stamps, they have to go and put in so many hours of community service in order to get oh, the food stamps. Fuck. Look, man, look, that ain't they're not gonna work. be able to do that yeah, shit. That ain't gonna work, man. That are, ain't you, gonna are, you work. Say, are you saying sun teens will basically sink because they can't they can't provide for themselves? Hey. Sun teams will definitely sink. Real, real quick. Look, not even the flex about it. I do have my card. I am a, I am a real, real Eagle Scout. And I'll say this: because sun, could these sun teams would they be able to gather um, and organize a whole group of people and get six months worth of food for uh, a church for families that are in need? Because no. that's some shit I did for this. Oh, wow. I don't think they'd be able to do that. No way. No way in the world. Um, your your future president says the way to handle this situation is to set a date like 2025. If you have more than three children on welfare, the government will not cover their expenses. Um, and in 2026, you cut that down to two. Mm. And then you make it to where you only get it for three years, no matter what. Mm. 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 Bring back government cheese. Because, man, every McDonald's I see has help wanted signs in front of it. I got, I got every two, fucking one. I, and, and they're paying $15 an hour. I got two people yeah. in the back. Uh, let me drop, let me, let, let me drop a couple of you guys. Let me drop you, Wyoming, man. Let me drop you, Lomingo, right quick so I can um, bring um, these two guys up. Uh, go ahead, D. Hey, what's oh, happening, now? Uh, yeah. Oh, let's D. Go on. Oh, okay. Um, I was going to say that there's women that raise their children to know what to do with the system. Like when one is getting ready to turn 18, have another one so that you can suck and stay on the system longer. Mm -hmm. Like they, they literally are teaching yeah. their children this. Yeah, they know that they're, 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 they're milking it. Yeah, they know they know how to do it. And then the kid is nothing but a check. So the kid is not something that you really wanted or loved the kid you know is annoying his the kid is a is an inconvenience at right. the things it needs now it, it's good for the check but the fact that 
Like now this motherfucker got a personality and he got wants. He will be driven oh, to practice. Well, and, and they're and they're and, and this this is also coming from, and people are covering for him, saying they can't they can't tell when they're gonna get pregnant, and these bitches purposely have kids mm-hmm. at time intervals. <laughs> Yeah, man, it is. It is what it is, man. But um, let's get back to um, let's get hey. back to um, Jackson. Hey, yo, uh, real quick, I can what? and everybody else in here. My apologies if I got a little too loud or if I cut anyone off. It's just I get a little worked up about that. I, I apologize. If I did hey, man, we oh, just good. we just want to make sure that guy who robbed you a few years ago. We hope that he never runs into you. Man. That's yeah, no, no. Nah, I mean, you know, like like someone said, he's most likely already dead. But I mean. That's some shit I haven't even told like my dad or my mom or I mean, oh, bro, mom, I hope you get mom, satisfaction. I hope mom, you get satisfaction. My mom, my, my mom, my mom knows about you know that I was. I never told her exactly what it was. I told her I tell her when I'm like 35. But if I know if I told my dad right now, he he'd want to do something. So I, I, I kind of the water outages are frustrating. Very special when you have kids, then you know you have to bathe, go to work, brush your teeth. But luckily, we have a tank of water, so I'm using that to flush my toilet. That's for now. I just came back from the store to get extra water. The inconvenience that Jackson citizens have. have oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, God. How about you volunteer to help them dig the hole they need to in order to get to the water source? Oh, oh, right. Right. No, 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 no smash on that one. That? Are you smashing no smash that on one? that? Six days Hell a week, nah. twice on Sunday. <laughs> I want to smash that. He got fifty thousand dollars in stamps. I want to touch that with a ten feet pole. Yeah, yeah cool. Yeah, cool as ice. Do it for the culture. The inconvenience that Jackson citizens have 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 got to deal with. We don't have reliable drinking water. Albert Wilson owns and operates Genesis and Light Center for Youth in the neighborhood. Wilson, who's run for mayor and city council in the past, says he doesn't believe the third party administrator is making much of a difference. Paying water bills these day, but we're not getting any water. We're not getting any reliable water, we're not getting any drinking water. And solution simply would be, if you ain't fixing it right now, stop charging us. Still says as soon as the water comes back on, he plans to fill up his 350 gallon tank to be ready for the next time the water goes out. Thank you. These are, these are the issues. Well, at least he's dealing with the future. At least he's a future thinking son, man. But at least his haircut. About every other week, is something wrong with the water? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's because he has a little bit of glider in him that he's he's more forward thinking. Oh, and and doesn't that guy who runs the program that takes the tax dollars realize he's part of the problem? Hey, I want to jump in on one thing here. Um, I agree with basically uh, Thomas Sowell's viewpoint on how welfare actually hurts people, hurts their mindset, hurts their spirit, uh, you know, keep them on the sidelines and feeling, you know, you're not, you're not doing nothing. You're just kind of existing and, you know, get, get into trouble. And it just it just sets up a whole bad culture. I agree with that. But I will throw this in as another angle. Uh, food stamps goes to grocery stores. I talked to grocery store managers, so they'd have to shut down a whole bunch of their stores if they couldn't collect the food stamps because it's it's a lot of their profits. Yeah. And oh, well. Same way, oh well. Section Section Eight supports uh, landlords, little landlords, and big landlords. So it's a big part of capitalism. It's a big part oh, of. That's of, not capitalism, though. Food that's food not food. a free, yeah, That is not a free food. exercise. <laughs> Of money, that's communism. That's communism. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Well, well, what are it what are the, it, the way it worked? The way it worked in the in the twentieth uh, century was, all the money went for uh, the World War II and the Cold War, and all that money filtered through the, through the Pentagon and came out in programs that way, and that that ton of government spending actually supported it. So now, after the Cold what? War, got it, uh, after the Cold. After the uh, Cold War, you know, the Soviet Union is over with, that, uh, you know, there's less jobs coming out of the Pentagon, basically. You're talking about oh, Kansas no, they, they sent all those factory jobs overseas with NAFTA. That's Kansas that too. Kansas. That's Kansas. Kansas. We, we, were, we were still making shoes in Maine. Yeah. I, I think uh, once I real, I thought Nixon went to China to sit down and have Egg Fu Young with Chairman Mao. So, you know, to make peace or something. It was so 
they could get ready to send corporate corporations over there, get them to invest, and that China wouldn't confiscate the factories. So Nixon was uh, Nixon and Bush, as a matter of fact, and Kissinger went over there, sat down with, and and kind of set the ball rolling. But it took you know decades for it to really start happening uh, under Reagan and then Bush and then Clinton for that you know that flow to really get going and, and get rid of all the jobs here. But corporations, the, the corporate CEOs, uh, they said, well, we can't move our factories. They told Wall Street investors, we can't move our factories over there because if we do, we set up, you know, pour in money and the communists will just take it. So they had to set up all those agreements first. But that's about all I got to say on that. Mm. Wow. Mm. Yeah, that's Kinsian another level of the game. Kinsian sucks ass. And, and how many jobs would we have open right now if it wasn't for all the illegals? That's true, too. Yeah. yeah Whose yeah. jobs are they taking? They're not taking my job. I'm a skilled laborer. Right, right. All the low, uh, all the low hanging fruit jobs. Yep. Yep. Wow. Yep. And it keeps so it keeps they wanted to keep wages down and they want to keep they want to keep wages flat and wages used to go up with, uh, you know, demand for for more employees. Wages would, would keep climbing. And instead of wages going up with prices and everything, they just, um, you know, they they used to have. Uh, we have know, robots who, picking our food if if we didn't have Mexico. I had I had friends who used to they get I had a friend who got seven jobs in one day and he got them all stoned. He worked for place for an hour, uh, quit, walk walked down the street, got another that kind of thing. You know, you, it, was, it was easy to get a job, say in uh, in. Uh, well, throughout the 70s, maybe not all the 70s, but it was quite often really easy to get a job. And, uh, you know, you didn't have to go hunting everywhere for it and celebrate if somebody finally hired you. It was really easy. Uh, but they got rid of all those. They got rid of the unions. So, uh, you know, and that was middle class. I met, I met a guy in Detroit who was pulling in 70000 and that would have been back in um, like seven, 1976, 70,000 auto, auto workers with uh, overtime. You know, a lot of overtime. The paper mill in the town I graduated high school in paid uh, summer workers $23 an hour to sweep up scraps under their big paper machines. Right. At 18 right. fucking years old. Wow. Right. So and that's in 87. Well, in 87, $23 an hour is more like um, $50 an hour now. These, these, okay. these guys literally paid for their four-year college educations by working yeah. in the mill all summer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let they kept add, wages yeah. flat. So uh, they kept wages flat, but but it gave the U.S. the power of being, you know, the, the global financial powerhouse in the world. But in order to do that, we uh, we became an import country. It's well, it's and, complicated, and, but that's kind of how it works. No, it's so and now they just print. And now they just print money, reducing the value of the dollar. Yeah, yeah. All but, all but federal maybe, spending but, is printed, and all taxes are just deleted. It's hard to understand. It's hard to harder to explain, but it's really that simple. It's just like movie tickets. They print out the movie tickets and they cut them in half and throw them away. They don't mean shit to the movie theater. That's not hard to so, understand. That's why you yeah, got to Yeah, Fed, I mean, China China creates their RMB the same way. They <laughs> they print their RMB. If they take taxes, they, they it just gets deleted. Wow. Um, let me let me move along. I think you get. I'm going to shut up now. No, no, no. You're just getting into a level of the game that that that's very deep. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's it's like, is it, 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 it? Yeah. Let's get back to crime. No, 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 no. It's, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's very interesting, though, man. Like, cause, like, um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm following you, but some of the things, I'm like, wow, this, we, we're really fucked. Um, but uh, yeah, we're, we're screwed, man. Well, Capitol Police Chief Bo Lucky says they're making headway on this investigation. Investigation. Now, he, along with other people in the Bonfren area, are disturbed with this video. Anyone that spends time here in this Bonfren, downtown Bonfren area, says that Swallophonic is a staple in the community. You're taken away from hardworking people. Here you have a business owner who is is trying to survive, trying to make trying to make a living. 
the clothes off the rack, boxes of shoes, and even a cash register, all stolen from Swellophonic in a matter of minutes. It's just one of the most grotesque things you can do as a, as a, as a person is just take something that somebody's worked so hard for. The retail store shared this shocking surveillance video with us. The break-in happened early Tuesday around 2.45 a.m. You can see. Yeah, but if you yes. know you live around Suns in Jackson, that glass window, need you need one of those things you pull down in the front of the store, those gates. You can't, like, like you can't. This is too easy. This is disrespectful. This is disrespectful to have this just a door lock with a lock on it and a glass window because they would have broke this glass they couldn't get in this door. Still demoralizing. Uh a uh, kindergarten could have broken there. Yeah, it's, this is disrespectful. Like you, you live around, you live in Jaff. You have a business in Jaffrica. They call the place Jaffrica. You gotta uh, these people. If if they had fucking busted a hole through the fucking wall with a goddamn stick of dynamite, fine. But you just fucking get a fucking bolt cutter and or some or pick the lock in the front or throw a brick through the window and you're in there. If it's if it is if it is indeed Jaffrica, does that mean it would take colonizers to civilize it? No, I think I think that colonizers have not civilized Africa. There's no hope. Africa, have you been to Africa lately? Have no, you the seen, the problem with the with colonizers is they left too early. But they still would have never. They would have just been treading water. They would have never. The people would have never been able to take the baton. Yeah, you, you really been... should do a show like on South Africa one day, like where they were and where they are right now. Yeah, because it but... worked. No, it didn't work. It was a glider nation. So yeah, it, glider it nation. failed. It completely yeah. failed. Passing the baton and the baton just flew into the ether. No, it no was, but I mean, it was working slowly. under the, the colonization yeah, system. Yeah, but I'm saying as soon as any semblance of power slips, it's gone. Well, how well how long well how long do you think it would take for you know for it to for it to get to the point where they could just pass it off? You I'm pretty sure it would take a, it would take a thousands long of years. Yeah, never. yeah, yeah okay, okay. I think I, no. okay. I mean, I, I I mean I understand that. I'm just saying it, it can be done, but it's it's a it's a long long term plan. How can it thousands be done of years on a what if? Years? Hold on, tell me. You're telling me thousands of years. Whoever colonizes the country, that kingdom is no kingdom to last thousands of years. So you would need a kingdom that lasted thousands of years to colonize. Africa. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's all on a, a fairy tale. What if? Yeah. The retail store shared this shocking surveillance video with us. The break-in happened early Tuesday around 2.45 a.m. You can see three thieves going in and out of the doors with what Swellophonic says was $8,700 worth of merchandise. So I know most of the owners. I know Shaney. Um, and my heart just goes out to him because I know how He's hard so of a worker he is. And I know that the things that he gets into the store are unique. And uh, it's just disappointing. Tonight, police in the store are looking for this SUV, which was caught on surveillance video by another. Which was stolen and probably ditched in a fucking parking lot somewhere and fucking set on fire. Police in the store are looking for this SUV, which was caught on surveillance video by another nearby store. And I know people are having a hard time in life, but there's always another alternative. <laughs> like you know, what? Food it, stamps. It, I was just saying. It, it just took me a second to realize that that was his voice. Yeah, you're not fully clean unless you're zestfully clean. <laughs> He's very zesty. <laughs> and make me mad because I know he could be fine, but he just, <laughs> <laughs> he just destroyed. Hey, I don't you, know. you don't want to get that maids. All right, if you had yeah, to pick between, between and white, him and like, the other dude earlier, you picking this one? I'm picking the other dude. Blue, pick the other dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm, pick, I'm picking. I'm picking Porky Pig over here. Yes. <laughs> picking Bubba. Then to, yeah. to break into someone's business and, and cause them harm in that way. Hours after the crime, Capitol Police Chief Bo Lucky attended a community safety meeting in Fondren. We asked. Look at the community. Why safety. is there but no black people here? This city is 84% sun. Look at the community safety meeting. 
it's never <laughs> any some people at these meetings. Because it takes, well, I mean, it takes forward thinking to have community safety. Well, they were yelling at the um in, in New Orleans, they were yelling at the That was about to kill them. I wouldn't want them there either. That was a tantrum. <laughs> this is that's, yeah, that's this teething. Is... <laughs> that's also teething pains. <laughs> These yeah, like it's literally not one black person here in an eighty four percent and you know what this tells me? This tells me that the sons are just they're, they're, they're resigned to it and the gliders are like it's starting to spill into their areas. They done brought the non out. Yeah, it's spilling into the glider areas and the gliders are like, oh, it was cool when it was just in the sun areas but now it's in our areas. Uh, no, we're not having this shit. You got to do something about this. And I don't blame them. Being in Fondren. We asked what he's doing in the department to prevent Fondren businesses from being targeted in the future. He says they're working on being more visible in the Capitol Complex Improvement District. No officer can be everywhere 24 hours a day. Nice. But all we do is just make sure that we're in the area as much as possible, being seen. Now, in that same community meeting, Chief Lucky talked about some of the improvements and some of the challenges. He says that he has now brought on 117 officers for the job when he originally started with 64 oh, wow. and now they have 76 patrol cars when he started it was 17 now one of the oh, wow. that's good. That's good. yeah that's, that's good. really good you that's what you need like you need you need boots on the ground chasing these seven men around man does is getting communication all everyone on the same page in terms of communication between the highest county sheriff's office and the jackson police department he says he's hoping to change that. Tonight, we're live in downtown Fondren, Michaela Franklin, 16, WAP. Salute to them, man. Notice it takes a glider to organize that. I got to say, yeah. colonizers. <laughs> yeah, man. Salute to him, man. Salute to him for, 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 for doing that, man. <laughs> um, yeah, this this place is a, um, this place is a fucking um, strange, strange place. All right, we got a former football player, NFL player arrested. Another one. On Saturday, $100,000 for Jarrell Poe and Gavin Bates, both men accused of forcing a man to go inside of a bank and withdraw money for a medical marijuana growing operation. They are charged with kidnapping and kidnapping conspiracy. But others claim there's another side to that story. Former Ole Miss and NFL defensive lineman Jarrell Poe and Gavin Bates said nothing as they entered the Ridgeland Courthouse to face charges of kidnapping a man who was allegedly leading a medical marijuana growing operation. Which one you think is the former NFL player? <laughs> um, the big black man. Yeah. <sighs> well, like you, don't think Shaggy, you don't think Shaggy played the league? Man? <laughs> he probably did until he got on mail. The victim had been uh, taken against his will out of Laurel, Mississippi, and brought up here overnight. They stayed in uh, Pearl and then uh, came to the Chase Bank. And the reason they end up in Riesland is because there's just a Chase Bank here. Poe is a defensive lineman standout at Ole Miss, who later went on to play for the Kansas City Chiefs at Houston, Texas. According to police, Poe and Bates brought the victim to the Chase Bank at Ridgeland Richland, hoping to recoup some $300,000 they and others invested in a medical marijuana growing operation, but saw very little return on their investments. The whole time, it, it's just been shady. Uh, Did Jarrell kidnap him? No. Keith Stovall says he worked with Poe and Bates on the marijuana project that never grew into anything. He says the alleged victim, Bryce Mathis, was supposedly bringing Poe and Bates to the bank to return their investment money of $300,000. That's how they ended up over here to the Chase Bank, because Bryce was supposed to give them the money back. And it turns out to where he went in the bank and said, because he couldn't produce the money, that the kid, that uh, Jarrell was kidnapping I, he probably is something to do with self-help, but you can't break the law and engage in kidnapping to collect on a debt. But yes, it's a kidnapping case. Prosecutors say there is much more to this case that will be revealed at a later date. But the charge is a big old thing. What if that's your cellmate, man? It's a big old thing right there, boy. Good God. Later date, but the charges are for a reason. Well, we're not going to try the case out here in public, but you can rest assured that in Ridgeland, we would not have arrested them and charged them with kidnapping if it wasn't kidnapping. 
Yeah, that's a big man. Bond said at $100,000 for each man. Uh, they have waived their preliminary hearing, which means now their case will go before a Madison County grand jury. Investigators say this case is ongoing. Now, I want to ask y'all a question, man. What country, like, what country does this guy make, what, the defensive lineman in the NFL? What country does he make 5 to $10 million a year? doing anything just name What's one okay. well canada slim down and could run and, and no could him run, as he is soccer canada him as he is him not somebody no else country him, him not America somebody else. for 500 yeah. alex <laughs> I'm gonna say he can go to Canada and play football in Canada. They, they're they not giving money out like that, bro. Not even close. Uh, I don't know nothing about sports. I'm gonna say yeah, America just here, for 200. What country could he go to? One of the finest universities in the um, one of the finest universities in the world. This guy get a scholarship, a full scholarship. Not he didn't pay a dime to go to one of the finest universities in the world. America. Just America. Right here in the goddamn USA. Why he just? Why he didn't just sue the man? Why he kidnapped him? Learning a fucking thing. <laughs> why he could? Why he didn't just take the man to court and because sue him? That's not that's a son man way operate. of handling business. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. But it would have kept. It would have kept him out of jail. Right. Now, but now he gonna right. lose his freedom. <laughs> If he he needed a wife friend. like you. He needed a wife like Brown Sugar to make him think of that. Nah, he had killed yeah. me. Yeah, he what? wouldn't have had any money to invest in You're the first place. On a honeymoon night. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god! But um, listen, man. Yeah, this is 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 why didn't he do it? Because it's, it's that's just not how he operates. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like it's just not his modus operandi, man. <clears throat> Um, let's see. Let's see. Okay, we got. We got. We're gonna go to Memphis in a minute, man. Well, it's all a part of the National Martin Luther King National Holiday Weekend. Before Mike Epps took to the stage for last, he took part in a water distribution, joining local Greek organizations. These people are. They ready to laugh. Right here, right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. <laughs> Before entertaining a crowd in a weekend comedy show downtown, comedian Mike Epps handing out water to Jackson residents, still struggling to get easy access to this basic resource. The water kind of got like a little older and stuff to it when it come out. Oh, no laughing matter. And the rest of the country don't understand how bad it is. Epps joined <laughs> uh, yeah, we do, Mike. It's called Jaffa. And it is. Epps joined members of local fraternities and sororities who gathered at the Jackson Convention Complex Sunday for a bottled water giveaway. It's all part of a day of service honoring the Dr. Martin Luther King national holiday. To come here, man, and to see how resilient these people are here in Jackson. Jackson's always been a great city in America, man. It's he always been, now. It's also the great city in America. It's the, it's the blackest, big, it's the biggest blackest city because the other cities that are this population of black people are um miami gardens east st louis and i think detroit so this is probably the second biggest black city in the in in the country and just and look at the the similar problems they have with like flint <laughs> yeah they're like literally doing uso service missions within the continental united states but, but it's a white city that got the same issue so i'll see the store on it Oh, but, you're talking about the water, the water. Yeah, water, but water. you never hear you never hear anything about a celebrity coming out to help them out. But those people don't have those people have water problems and they're told to fucking deal with it. They're told to fuck off and deal with it. Yeah. These people it, it, and also they don't have all the other problems. The water problem oh, okay. is the problem. They don't have the litter, they don't have the crime. You know what I'm saying? They, that's their only problem, the water. Man, and to see how resilient these people are here in Jackson. Jackson's always been a great city in America, man. I think as a country and a government, we need to support them. With a new federally appointed third party administrator now running the water system, plus $600 million in promised. So the third party administrator running the water, they've taken the water thing out of the, the sun. Right. States. Yep. They took it away from the incompetence and now they're getting it back online. 
I wish somebody would ask water. people what I wish somebody would ask people what the definition of a great city is. Like actually right. had him explain what right. it is. It's just bizarre. He called it, it it's the same city. it's the same definition of a good kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He hasn't killed anybody yet system plus 600 million dollars in promised federal funds for major repairs bottled water distribution could become they're a about to pack. give this they're about to give this one city 600 million dollars in federal funds where does that federal funds come from and this city is paying another contractor three hundred thousand dollars to pick up trash because it won't give littering tickets to people all of those people living around that city all those people living around that city that are not on welfare, that's where the money's coming from. $600 million? Appointed third-party administrator now running the water system, plus $600 million in promised federal funds for major repairs. Bottled water distribution could become a thing of the past soon, but not just yet. Recent water main breaks have triggered boil water notices and a loss of pressure for people like Wilma Williams. We can battle take a bath. Um, you know, your cooking conditions, you have to go buy water and stuff, you know, and it's, it gets really, very costly. So this really helps? Yes, sir, it does. It does, and I appreciate it. Where do y'all want it? Mayor Shokwe Antro Amumba came out to help distribute water and to thank Apps for his contribution to the community. As long as they see that people are uh, have support for them and people are praying for them, thinking about them in other places, I think that'll keep their morale up. That's a no, Mercedes picking up water, more than free water. Hundred cases. Yeah, he probably ain't got no fucking water in his house. So it's just because he yeah. got a fucking Mercedes, don't mean that the pipes under his yeah, house yeah. were fucking built the last fifty years. Hey, well, I'm, I'm, and far, it, I'm far from driving a Mercedes, but I won't have to worry about getting water because I I have already had that figured out by now. Well, and he has a Mercedes. That doesn't mean he has a a a house. It just means he's unwise with his money. Or grandma died and he took the car. Yeah, that too. Well, they're, I think it's funny they're investing $600 million into a city that generates like no tangible tax base. Yeah, it's crazy. It's just it's just another, you know, chunk of welfare, basically. Giant trash can. Let's go to, um, like let's go to Memphis. <laughs> Golly, man. Woo! Out of my beautiful city, Memphis. It's bad when you go to Memphis to get away from the problems of a different city. Yeah. It is. It is. It is my cool. mama wanted me to come uh, to Memphis. Uh, let me tell y'all what happened real quick. So, my husband and I was on a road driving on a little road uh, trip, and we went through St. Louis. I told him I had to go to the restroom, and I thought he was going to stop at a pilot gas station. But he got off his exit, and I see some sun teens with their dreads, pants sagging. And I was like, go, go, get off, get off, get off the 